Kamadeka Show. I'm Joe Wamba. Join now with Eric Kamadeka, head coach of the track and field teams. And coach, it seems like you guys are always breaking records and you know qualifying for something and making history. Again, that happens with the distance teams this past weekend. Yeah, they had a really great weekend this weekend. Coach Berdan took some of the guys on Friday night and the woman up to Widener. And Langston Gas broke the school record again in the 5K by over 10 seconds or so. Uh, Brett Olin had a great race running a 15.38. So on the guy side, we may have five guys who are under 15.45. And then even a troll Friday night, uh, first time running a 5K and ran a 19.15 to set the school record. So that was exciting. And then Kelly Winklebauer turns around on Saturday and runs a great race in the 1500, beating one of her old high school teammates that she's never beaten before. So that was a lot of fun for her. So as you mentioned last week, you guys are kind of in the taper mode right, as of right now. But it doesn't really seem that way if you guys keep on breaking records by 10 and 11 that's, seconds. That's kind of the product <laughs> of uh, the result of the taper. You know, we're starting to feel better, cut back. So now you're going to start to see better performances by everyone, you know. So it's just a matter of the process. A lot of opportunity for better performances this weekend or this week before the weekend, actually. You guys are going to be going to Navy with some people and McDaniel, and then the really cool part, going to the Penn Relays with the relay teams. Yeah, so this is a tune-up week. So we have some of the hammer throwers going tonight up to Navy to try to figure some things out, get that last throw in before MAC championships. Tomorrow we have a, a crew going up to McDaniel to get that last opportunity to either qualify for MAC mm -hmm. or, again, touch up on an event that they haven't. And then Thursday and Friday is a really big day for us. You know, it's the first time that we're really taking a women's relay team up to the men, or Penn Relays, and then the men are coming back as well on Friday night. And it's going to be a really cool event there with the Max Centennial competition. It, just a way, another way to be competing, not only just for your own times, but, you know, a little bit of bragging rights involved. Yeah, it's fun. So the Penn Relays has a section called the Pat Paddleton 4x4, and it combines the MAC schools who are used to be in the MAC and are still in the MAC, and then Centennial schools. And last year, our men's team did a really great job. We had the lead going into the last leg, but we had to put, substitute a guy in there who wasn't a 400 leg. So this year, the men are really going after it, and I think the women have a good shot. Right now, they're number two in the region in 4x4, so they're trying to get that win. Really impressive numbers there from both of those teams. Other impressive numbers coming from Danica, who's also going to be competing up there. What are you expecting out of some of those performances? I, we really are not sure. You know, this is the <laughs> first time that we've ever had an individual ever qualify for Penn Relays, and it's really tough to hit that standard. So Danica, just to be able to get into the Penn Relay field is just an exciting opportunity for her. You know, again, I think it'll really give her a good environment and practice for what's going to see she's going to see at nationals again. Yeah, it's going to be an exciting environment to be in and a great precursor for the three-day event, the MAC uh, championships that are coming right around the corner. Yeah, you know, that's why we're taking this Saturday off is because we have a three-day meet coming up. So, you know, again, it's all about that taper, taking some time off. And, you know, we get ready to go leaving Thursday, the competition starting on Thursday, and then hopefully coming back with some championships on Saturday. Well, Coach, we appreciate your time and good luck in all the events this week. And uh, the taper hopefully will pay off and we get a lot of awards at the MAC Commonwealth. We hope so. He's Eric Kamadeka. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Eric Kamadeka Show.